there's two left, like Emily said, it's supposed to be that each of us have one. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're having a venti coffee of the day with one shot of espresso, sugar-free caramel. We got home and I added an ounce of almond milk and we're eating the last two. I'm having one and Samantha's having one. Oreos. It's the cinnamon bun Oreos. I don't know if I showed YouTube yet, but it was on my Snapchat. These are delicious. They're so good. But I do have to say, I fell in love with the red velvet Oreos last year, and they're probably still better because I like chocolate better. But that doesn't mean that this isn't like completely bomb and 100% worth it because it is. So I'm going to go eat this now. Mm. Mm hmm. You gotta try what I just tried. What? Oh, you, did, you dunked it? And I put like just a little bit of almond milk in there. If you wanna do that, it tastes so good. I like it clean, but. Mm. Good morning, YouTube. So it's Sunday, and I just realized I never gave you guys a tour of the place, and I'm running late. I have to go, so I'm gonna show you real quick a little speed tour. So you walk through the door, and you have your first bedroom here. Sam is staying there. King size bed, pretty sweet. Bathroom in here. Everything's obviously like used and kind of dirty. Living room, hi. Hey. Living room here. Couches. They have a Roku TV, so it's like Netflix and Hulu. And this is a queen size bed in here with the bathroom. So I have like shower, bath. Oh my breath, I'm so tired. I've been like trying to pack my stuff up. So back to the living room. They have a little desk space where you're able to like do work. Cute little table. And then the kitchen. Super cute. This place wasn't bad. It was like 537 for the weekend. It's right downtown, so we literally walk right down the street to the fitness expo. Definitely booking this like every year. So love this place. I'll be back. But for now, it's time for me to go so I can make it to the expo on time. See you guys!
Xander. They have the cutest couple Q and A on their channel. You gotta go watch it. So that is going to conclude the LA Fit Expo weekend. I actually just drove from LA all the way to where I live, which is about 45 minutes to an hour away. Um, and I, my radio doesn't work in this car, so normally I listen to podcasts or something. But this time I just like didn't have the radio going, uh, no podcast, no music, nothing. I just like literally drove in silence for, it took me an hour because there was some traffic. And I was just reflecting on the entire weekend, and I can say that was probably one of the best expos, one of the best weekends. I'm completely overwhelmed with how many of you came up to like say hi and show your support, and I'm just so thankful for all of you guys, and I hope that you know that I really appreciate every single one of you, and when you come up to me and like say hi and stuff, it literally makes my entire day, so thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, there, was, <laughs> there was one family that came up, and they literally had me in tears with what just with everything like they're someone who has followed me since the very beginning and I hate even say, saying following just they've supported me since the very beginning um, like I think when I first started my Instagram account literally and um, I remember when I got my first uh, huge magazine spread they were so excited for me like as if I was part of their family or something like they were so happy for me and they commented on my Instagram saying you know one day I'm gonna have you sign my copy like I was one of the first people to go get a copy and I'm gonna have you sign it one day and they showed up at the expo today and I had no idea that they were even coming and so at first I see them and immediately knew it was them and like went up and gave them a huge hug and um, you know we start talking whatever and then they were like do you remember that time that I commented saying uh, I was gonna have you sign that copy one time and I was like yeah and they like literally pulled out the magazine and <laughs> I lost it because it just like brought me back to that moment of whenever I got that first like really big thing you know like that was a big deal to me it was a like, huge dream come true of mine and just to have someone that like cares so much and for them to have said way back then I'm gonna have you sign it one day and then two years later be there and be like here we go let's do this I don't know it would just like totally hit home for me and touched me very much so I just want to say thank you guys and I didn't even think about this but I was I, I was crying I was um, I was like just so happy so taken back and so my handwriting was awful I was like shaking um, I don't even know if I spelled your name right so Chase I am so sorry if I spelled your name wrong I should have asked I was just like so in the moment if I spelled your name wrong I will totally switch copies and give you m one of my copies and rewrite everything I'm I hope I didn't spell your name wrong just thank you guys so much for all of your support, always being there for me, and I don't know, I'm just having so many feels right now. <laughs> so many feels, you guys, it's unreal. Thank you for the most amazing weekend. I am even more stoked for the Arnold Expo now. If you will be at the Arnold Expo, I will be there with Ravish Sands, so make sure to come say hi to me, and um, I'll probably try to work something out to where I can swing by J Fitness Wear as well. I know Amanda will be with them, so thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Good luck. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.